The great Oz has spoken. 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 We are like this salamander that has the option of never developing into its mature form. And to my mind, that's a tragedy. This is our birthright, and somehow our inability to get a grip on our global problems has to do with this immaturity. The issue is surrender. This is something real. Of course we can't get control of the world because we are children in some profound way. And we don't like being children. It's, it, but the culture has reinforced a form of infantilism. This uh, going it alone thing is very important. You know, Plotinus, the great Neoplatonic philosopher, he spoke of the mystical experience as the flight of the alone to the alone. And um, in the psychedelic experience, there is this issue of surrender, to let it lead, to let it show what it wants to show. So the real message that I try to leave with people is the primacy of direct experience. Everything not within your reach is basically unconfirmed rumor. And we insert ourselves like ants or honeybees into hierarchies of knowledge. So we say, well, what's going on in the world? Well, turn on CNN. And we feel somehow better now because we're getting the information. But what we have done is sold out direct experience and all institutions require this of us that we somehow redefine ourselves for the convenience of the institution so then somehow in modern society all of this cultural machinery is just Wizard of Oz stuff you remember the scene in the Wizard of Oz where the curtain is swept back and they see the little guy there and he says, booming out over the loudspeaker, ignore the little man pulling the levers. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Well, the little man pulling the levers is what sweeps into view with direct experience. You know, I don't see history as a wrong turning. I see it, the metaphor that I like is that of the prodigal son that there was a reason for this long descent into matter, this peregrination. It was a shamanic journey. 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 That was Terence McKenna saying, quite rightly, that history is no wrong turning. In fact, there is just an old story that is coming to an end. There are people like Mark Gaffney, Daniel Schmachtenberger, Charles Eisenstein, that tell us of an old story that is coming to an end and a new story that we are being confronted with. That old story is one of, we are all separate selves. What I do to you has very little real or direct impact on me and my world. And that story is coming to an end. And the reset of that story is upon us. The modern shamanic journey is not one of loincloths and feathers in the hair, dancing around and calling in the four directions. Not exactly. That's the old story. The new story, even shamanic as it may be, is veering directly into digital territory. At least in part, and definitely in the expression of its art. The human saga continues. As this modern shamanic journey continues, I hear people contesting, saying, never, shamanism is a biological phenomena. It is not a digital or technological one. I hear the intellects saying, all shamanism can be explained mathematically or empirically. And I hear the intellectual New Agers saying, no, 
Spirit is the story of shamanism, and spirit does not belong in the realm of ones and zeros. But whatever your conception of the human saga or shamanism may be, the truth is the digital realm is here to stay, and its infrastructure looks like it will not easily go away. Terence McKenna was right. History is no wrong turning. We were meant to be fooled by the great illusion of this wizard. Because then and only then could the revelation of that man behind the curtain truly have the proper impact upon our psyches. Then and only then could it push us collectively towards this new story that will have maximum impact and rightly be told in its proper sequence. We could not have had this revelation prior. So let me tell you my conception, humbly, of this new story that is awakening within the minds and the hearts of humanity. If by the end you don't agree, fuck you, dude. No, sorry, that was the old story coming out. If you don't agree, good, but only good if you sing it in your own way. Don't comment it on social media. Use your voice. Tell the story your own way. Sing it and watch the choir of your new chosen family rise up to meet you because it's time.